Hello and welcome to the channel again. Pen friends everywhere, thank you for tuning in. This is a very long awaited video and even for myself it's very exciting to finally share with you, my viewers and everyone else who is watching this video, finally the latest creation from Leonardo Officina Italiana. Well, for the people that are in this hobby and do know a little bit of things about fundaments, probably you heard of Leonardo Officina Italiana. But for the rest that are not familiar with this company brand, what I can tell you is that they are based in Naples, Italy, and they are a family run business. The Matrone family has well over 45 years of experience in pen making. And the first person that I want to introduce to you is Chiro, who is the person that has those 45 years of experience. Currently, he is in retirement and he infused the pen making qualities and skills to his son, Salvatore Matrone, who is the founder of Leonardo Officina Italiana. And another person that I want to mention here is Maria Francesca, who takes care of all my orders at Leonardo very successfully. She's Salvatore's sister. Well, moving forward, I want to salute you all, the Leonardo of Gina Italiana team, and thank you for the opportunity of working with you. Now, let's share with our viewers this wonderful new creation of yours. But first, let's get to know the other Leonardo of Gina Italiana collections that are available at this moment. The first model introduced by the company was the Momento Zero and it was a huge success and it still is till this day. It was available and it is available in two different options, resin body and the resin comes with a steel nib, cartridge converter and ABS feed. Then we have the limited edition Momento Zero and they were offered in two different materials, celluloids and ebonites. And for them, they come equipped with 14 karat gold nibs, ebonite feeds and vintage piston filling mechanisms. Okay, now moving forward, we have the second collection launched by them and it was named Furore and was inspired by Dalmalfi Coast in Italy, a place, a very beautiful place. Go and check it on Google. I'm sure you will like it. And those pens come with steel nibs, a very lovely shape, cigar shape. And probably I will link up here or up here any review that we had on our channel so you can go and check them. Uh, getting back to the Furore, it had a steel nib, ABS feed and a cartridge converter. Recently, I and Salvatore developed the first limited edition Furore and it was available in a material called Blue Abyss Celluloid. It featured a 14 karat gold nib, AB, uh, not ABS feed, ebonite feed and a, the same vintage piston sorry, excuse me, vintage piston filling mechanism like on the Momento Zero. That was available in, I believe, 100 pieces. And we do have a review on our channel. I will link it up here or up here, I don't know. Okay, moving forward. What do we have new now? Now, Leonardo Officina Italiana launched a product that was very long awaited and desired by all of you and it is a more beefy oversized current version of one of their models the Momento Zero and it's called Momento Zero Grande. Now this pen is out of this world. I love it and I want to share with you all of the colors available for this model and we have five new resin colors I'm going to use some pictures and attach them as I'm going to introduce you to each of the colors. And I want to mention that these resins are exclusively made for Leonardo Officina Italiana. So the first one that we have, it's Dark Hawaii. 
slightly darker variation of the famous Memento Zero Blue Hawaii. Then we have the Caraib or Caraibe. I don't know if I'm misspelling or pronouncing it wrong, this uh, name. And it is a new color. It is a mix of a blue and dark green. Lovely, if you ask me. Then we have copper, a rusty brown palette of colors, sand, a linear pattern of alternating cream shades, and last but not least, we have coffee. Nothing more, nothing less, just a plain deep brown for all of you who missed owning the Momento Zero brown. Now we have an alternative in this pen, different brown, but yet a lovely color. Now let's bring the camera a bit closer and see what you actually get when you decide to own a Momento Zero Grande. I had received this Momento Zero Grande coffee three weeks ago from Salvatore. I don't have the box that comes with this pen, but what I can tell you is that this pen will be delivered with a Leonardo bottle of ink inside. And ever since it got here, it was put up to good use. So I have I have a ton of things that I want to share with you all about it. Now let's start featuring the details of it. Now if you watch closely this pen design, it's practically a Momento Zero that has grown up. I have a Momento Zero right here with me, so you can see them side by side right here. And they both have this conic shape. To the finial. Let me try to get it in focus. Yes. So we have conic shapes at both ends. Cap features the overall shape of the Momento Zero cap, but we do have some slightly larger proportions. And we have a different clip now. So the clip on the Momento Zero Grande. It is newly designed, it is more streamlined and fits the whole design very, very good. At the cap band, we have a three ring configuration, different from the two ring configuration of the Momento Zero. Then we have at the cap right here, we have a beveled edge, and this was not present on the Momento Zero. And I will insert some close-up pictures so you can totally more clearly understand what I'm talking about. And this beveled edge makes the cap barrel transition feel more softer. Side by side you can see both caps, Grande on the left, Momento Zero on the right. Now to uncap the pan we use only one complete turn and this pan shows us the nib. Now we have two nib options. The one that I have here is the steel nib and this comes in a few sizes. Let's mention them. Extra fine, fine, medium, broad and a 1.5 millimeter stub. Remember now there is available one more size for the stub, 1.1 millimeters. Then we have another option also for this pen, you can go with a 14 karat gold nib and that comes available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad and a 1.3 millimeter stub. Both nib options are friction fitted. So again, no matter which material you choose from, gold or steel, it will come standard with an in-house cut ebonite feed including for the steel nibs, remember this. Also you can choose from three, uh, excuse me, two trim colors. You can go for the rhodium plated and this is what I have on this pan or you can choose the gold plated trim option. You may expect a huge difference if you are going to compare the sizes of the Momento Zero section and the Grande section. But this is not that 
of far apart because the difference between them is like only two millimeters and you hardly tell that they are different only visually you have to have them side by side and compare them and you have to hold both bands to really grasp the difference but size wise they are pretty pretty similar now let's see the details of the grande section we have this ring which is made out of metal rhodium plated and this ring improves a lot the grip because now this has a flared touch at the end right here and this will prevent your fingers from slipping down towards the nib different from the memento zero that i have here as you can see the section it is not flared and it has the same continuous shape then we have the treads and like on the Momento Zero, they are polished to perfection and they will not cause any fatigue to the user if you're going to hold the pen by them. Then we have the barrel and this is my opinion. This is where I think the pen picks up a lot of size, weight, girth and overall, if you want to put everything this is where they are different and I have them side by side right here so you can totally see that the barrel is significantly more girthier longer and the barrel comes engraved with Leonardo Officina Italiana and the number of the pen and remember like on the Momento Zero it is a numbered version this is not limited but I have been aware of the fact that some colors for the resins are not available for the Momento Zero at this moment. So being numbered or not, they can be in some conditions limited to a specific number. If Salvatore doesn't have where to buy more materials with the same color. Now we have the blind cap and this is fully removable like on the Momento Zero and you can access the filling system by unscrewing this blind cap. And now talking about the filling system, let me show you what Leonardo has created or Salvatore. Redesign this filling system from scratch. On the Grande we have a very interesting and cool system. This is a huge converter that is now glued to the section. Remember on the Momento Zero that I have here with me, we had the screw-in cartridge converter and that was practical, very easy to clean, nice, interesting, but it only holded a significant lower ink volume. But this interesting system will hold I think two milliliters of ink I don't know if you can call it a converter now that is glued on the section and you cannot remove it but it is precise practical easy to clean and operate and this top metal part right here comes engraved with a lovely Greek key design and Leonardo Officina Italiana but also the logo of the company. Another thing that I want to say to all of you is that this filling system now, it will feature a very interesting option, if you may ask how I call it, but this will prevent you from going overboard and it will start to skip once the piston reached all the way up and the pen is full of ink. Now I want to say to everyone that from my point of view this is the absolute best of both worlds. If you take all the benefits from a piston and a cartridge converter and you combine them this is the end result. Now this being said let's put the pen back together 
and now let's have some measurements for this pen so we have the pen completely closed and fully inked this will measure 152 millimeters from end to end and the total weight will be 37 grams if you uncap this pen like this and you are ready to write with it it will have 134 millimeters from the tip of the nib to the blind cap right here and it will weigh 26 grams now let's head over to the writing sample there i will show you a side-by-side -side comparison with some other pens from my collection and as usual we will get to see this lovely fine nib in a writing sample usually i don't use this camera angle often so if you like this kind of comparison comment down below and i'll be more than happy to include this in my other reviews so we have the momento zero grande coffee right here in the middle and this is how it's going to stand side by side with some other models we have a stipula etruria rainbow then we have a leonardo furore this is the momento zero the normal version we have a homo sapiens asc bologna and a visconti opera master I think this is it. Let's head over to the paper. The pen. Leonardo. Officina. Italiana. Momento. Zero. Grande coffee and we have the nib which is steel fine very smooth very impressive ink Mont Blanc toffee Brown. And as usual, paper, we are on Tomoe River 68 GS. And the nib performs very, very good. It's smooth, it's responsive, it behaves well. Now let's test the ink flow. I'm going to use one pass remember this is a fine nib so I find it quite wet and this is a double pass it is not a gusher but trust me it is a wet nib now let's see how it performs under some applied pressure or flex remember these nibs are quite stiff they do offer a small small amount of line variation but it is safe to not flex them if you want a more bouncy nib go for a gold 14 karat gold nib and you will have more give from it now let's see how it's going to stand in reverse so this is a fine nib and nice it's really nice it will take the nib from a fine to extra extra fine but it's quite smooth it doesn't have any issues it has a good ink flow and for the first time i've discovered a pen that it's a very nice reverse writer now let's see how it's going to perform under some fast writing very very beautiful it doesn't have any skips any hard starts the nib is polished to perfection it doesn't have any sharp edges and overall i'd call this nib a wonderful wonderful writing nib glad to have you back from the writing sample i hope you enjoyed it and we have a lot to talk about this pen well 
let's stick to what it is most important. And first I want to say that like with all Leonardo Officina Italiana fondant bands, they are reasonable priced. Meaning that you are getting a lot of pen for the price you are paying for it. Even more now, you have two different price points. You have the much lower entry level or mid entry level version with the steel nib. And also you do have the option if you can afford a gold nib to have a 14 karat gold nib that writes very, very beautiful. Moving forward, I want to say that each creation from Leonardo Officina Italiana proves me and to everyone who tested the pen that they are built like a tank. They are strong, they are very, very suited for daily use, they handle very beautiful and they do have a very very interesting palette of colors they feel solid they write really good and this makes them very suited candidates for daily writing now I want to say about the grande because if you are going to daily carry this pen go and purchase one of this Leonardo Officina Italiana pen sleeves and those come really, really handy if you're going to daily carry this pen and if you are going to put this pen in your bag or in your pocket, it will make the whole experience 10 times safer for the pen and maybe for your pocket too, if you're going to accidentally drop your pen. The huge ink volume that it is now available on the Grande, it's more than welcome and it's everything that you will want from your daily writer. If you're going to successfully fill this pen all the way up, trust me, for the next two or three weeks, you are going to forget about ever filling it up with ink again, no matter how much you write. Trust me, I write a lot with this pen and it is three weeks, I believe, since I've got it and I only burned like 60% of a full converter or piston or what do you want to call it. Then another thing that I want to point out is that now this pen uses a ebonite feed and with that we have a very rich and consistent ink flow and who doesn't want a rich and consistent ink flow on his fountain pen but that ink flow will lubricate the tip of the nib making the whole writing experience feel a lot more smoother including for the extra fine, fine nib sizes as well. Well, I think this is it. If you're interested in owning a pen like this, it is available on the PenVenture website. I will leave your link for it down below. And remember, this pen, it is available on our website for pre-orders. We are going to ship the pre-orders in early September 2019, this year. I believe in a month from now and specifically if you're going to watch this video after September 19th they are in stock and we are happy to take your order. If you want to be the first one who gets the pen with the correct nib size and the correct trim option remember they do come in batches so as far as we can anticipate the demand for them if you're going to place your pre-order, be sure that you will have the exact pen that you pre-ordered with us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to have a more updated flow of information from us, visit our Facebook page, drop us a like over there, or follow our Instagram account where we are posting daily photos and content and everything that you want to know from PenVenture. My name is Emmy, and I look forward to seeing you next video.